today we are entering into a new term the chapter we are going to see is time so in the last term what are the things we have seen we have seen to shapes and the addition of numbers subtraction and multiplication we have seen so here we are seeing to time we are going to come here we are coming to introduction about time so time means you will see the calendar that only the time passes by only there will be using of seeing the days dates and the year as passing by the time only so you know which is mean by a clock and how you will see to the watch this is some the reference picture only have taken for you and this is a clock and the calendar you know what is mean by calendar daily you are used to see the calendar right so the clock so now you have you are going to come to know about the time how to see the time so where and all you will see the wall clock that can be represented as a time you can see to the time there the watch the wrist watch that i am wearing right so in these things we can see to the time so how to see the time these are the things we are going to see in this chapter so in this chapter you will come to know about read time to the nearest 5 minutes to the nearest 5 minutes you will come to know how to read that and then read time in words like quarter past and quarter to the nearest hours so to the nearest hours you will say that quarter past and quarter to so where to use those two things you will come to know about that select an appropriate unit to measure time and then you you will uh, come to know about how to use the appropriate unit so the units is am and pm where to use am and pm tell time in am and pm so you will come to know about how to say am where to say am and where to say pm and explain the relationship between hours minutes and a day so hours you will come to know the comparisons and relationship between them hours minutes and a day and then write date in different formats we using different formats how you can write the date that you will come to know and then calculate the number of days between the given dates using a cal calendar using a calendar using calendar you will be able to calculate the number days and dates read and interpret a timeline arrange events in order to create a timeline and then you will come to know how to arrange the uh, dates the events in the timeline you will use you will you, you will capable to of create a timeline also and see to hear the conversation was given between the mother and a son a visit to a dentist they came for a visit to the dentist for the checkup tarun jit goes to a dentist along with his mother for a routine checkup they wait for their turn mom what is the time on the clock i don't know how to read it so now he is he come to know to see the time so i will teach you the mother is saying i will teach you so how she is teaching that only we are going to come to know reading time to the nearest 5 minutes so see to the picture given here tarun jit's mother helps him read the time on the clock correctly how she is teaching see so the 12 is given the right the 12 means it's zero minutes so the shortest hand will be the right the shortest hand shows the hour hand and the long hand shows the minute hand so the minute hands how you will say the minutes right so in the 12 it is there so which is zero minute and the one is there no which is five minute and two is 10 minutes three means 15 4 means 20 minutes 5 means 25 minutes 6 means 30 minutes 7 means 35 minutes 8 40 minutes 9 means 45 minutes 10 means 15 minutes 11 55 minutes again it's 12 so these are the things the law and shows the minute hand so see here below look there are 12 numbers and two hands on the clocks so see to this there are two hands on the clock which is short hand and which is a long hand the short hand is the hour hand so here blue color right this is a short hand which is an hour hand and then it takes one hour to move from one number to the next number why you are saying this hour hand the blue color because it takes one hour to move to the next number oh it is like a snail like that the boy is saying and then long hand is the minute hand it moves from one number to the next in 5 minutes so the long hand is the minute hand it takes 5 minutes to move to the next next number so so it's like a head so he is of naming some names snail and head and then help tarun ji to read the time on the clock so here there is a time is shown there on the clock at the clinic the hour hand is a little past 5 
and the minute hand has moved from 12 to 1. So the minute hand means the long hand which is moved from 12 to 1 it shows in the long hand shows in 1 and the our hand shows in little past of 5 little past of 5 it is shown. So little past of 5 means like this it is like this it is little past of 5 and the minute hand in 1. So since the minute hand takes 5 minutes to move from one number to the next it is 5 minutes past 5. So here 5, five minutes so in the 1 means it is 5 right 2 means it is 10 3 means 15 minutes. So these are the minute hand and this is our hand so in the hour it is just past 5 so slightly past 5. So it is past 5 right so you have to write 5 minutes past 5. So how will you write that 5 minutes past 5. So one number that 5 minutes to move from one number to the next the minute hand takes 5 minutes it is 5 minutes past 5. So how will you write this 5 colon 0 5. 5 2 is to have to give this is 2 and 0 5 this is the time that mentioning as 5 is hour and this is minutes first one is hour and the next one is minutes so you are writing in word as 5 minutes this is 5 minutes right it passed 5 past 5 it has just jumped out so 5 past it is 5 past and 5 minutes so 5 minutes past 5 and you have to write as 5 hours 5 minutes and the next one if the minute hand moves from number 12 to number 6, how many minutes does it occur? So you are going to do this as your homework one after saying after I will explain you are going to do the as this one as your homework. If the minute hand moves from 12 to number 6, this is minute hand right. So it just moved from 12 to this 6, 12 to 6 it is moved. Okay, and then how many minutes does it hover? So it is actually 5 past and then it moved from 12 to 6. So what is the time? You are going to find that. Then reading time, how will you read that time? Mom, it is 35 minutes past 5. When will the dentist call us? So he is asking it is 35 minutes past 5. So which is 535. When will the dentist call us? He is asking. It is our turn next but 5.35 is not read as 35 minutes past 5. So while saying that past 5, here you should not use past in 35 minutes means you should not use as past like that she is saying. Instead it is read as 25 minutes to 6. What? 25 minutes to 6. So the time is 25 minutes to 6 means for occurring the minute for 6.35. For 5.35 you have to say that is 25 minutes to 6. You should not say he is saying that right. 35 minutes past 5 he is saying. So the then. You should not say it like that 25 minutes to 6 only you have to say like that mother is saying that is 5.35, 5 hours and 35 minutes. So why that is split it into two things. So 25 minutes to 6 like that mom is saying that is 5.35, 5 hours 35 minutes. So how it is means the clock is split into two halves. Two halves is split. The clock face can be divided into two halves. It is divided into two halves. This is one half and this is as the other half. The two halves are there. So here means it's past and here means two you have to use. In the right side, you have to use. See here, when the minute hand is on the right half of the clock, the time is read, read or written as the number of minutes past the hour. So there you have to use as past the hour. In the left means you have to write as 2. The right means past. In the left means you have to use as 2. Up to this you have to write as past. From here to here you have to write as 2 and you have to uh, less the number from the 30 and you have to write the number.
So that is given here. See here clock face can be divided into two halves. One is left hand side half and then this right side. Left means you have to use as left means you have to use as two. Right means you have to use as past.